Okay, so we've got a couple of guinea pigs who needed a heated space over the winter. There was no space indoors for them. These two hungry guys. You've got food there, fellas. You've got food. You've got food right there. What's the matter? I don't have anything else. I'll get you some leaves in a minute. I'll get you some leaves in a minute. Okay. So, uh, this hutch has a separate bedroom space. So, what I did was I insulated this space. Um, I had some Kingspan panels left over from another project. This stuff is quite dear to buy in large panels, so if you can get off cuts, that's going to be the best way of doing this. I think these are the, this is 50 mil. Um, this worked well for the space we've got here. So we've got wooden panels. Oh, so okay, these guys need cleaning out. We'll get to that. Um, so we've got wooden panels inside here, uh, fitted together into basically a box shape uh, with the panels, the Kingspan panels on each side. There is some at the back as well and some on top. And what we've got behind this panel is, um, you can't really see it. Um, I'm not going to take the whole thing out now but I'll, I'll post a link. It is a flat panel. Uh, it's like a plastic flexible panel intended for aquariums. So it's a very low power panel, flexible panel, that's just behind that piece of wood there. I think it's about 15 watt output. And what we've got in the top here is thermostat. So there's a plastic cover going over that. Um, don't leave any edges of the insulation. Uh, the pigs will chew it. That's what we found on the other side. So I had to repair that so there is now a plastic cover over that thermostat with some holes in it obviously to let the air in and that thermostat is just wired in line with that panel heater which is just a straightforward connection to a, a plug uh, which goes into the shed which is behind the hutch here so that thermostat a little bit of trial and error i think it's set to is it what is it set to? I can't remember. 18, something like that. Um, so that thermostat keeps the uh, panel. Um, it comes on and off as required. Um, I wanted some monitoring as well. So what we've got in here is a little sensor. So this was um, just a little remote Bluetooth sensor. Um, that lets me keep an eye on the temperature in here. So this just connects to my phone via Bluetooth and I can track the temperature of the hutch um, from inside the house, don't even have to uh, come out. Um, so what this has done is this has kept the little bedroom space for the pigs between 16 and I think 22 degrees over the winter. And these guys have been happy out here um, in this little space. So they've always had this space to retreat to. Um, the little, um, the thermometer was I think 10 pounds. Um, panel heater was 15. I basically bought the one that fit in the space. You can get different sizes, different power outputs. I just bought the one that, that fitted um, best in the space. Thermostat I think was 10 pounds from Screwfix. Um, Kingspan, the insulation is the bit that's going to sit the back, so like I say, if you can get off cuts, that is uh, the best way of doing that. And uh, yeah, we've got some on the top as well where the thermostat goes in. I've just uh, got a flat panel of wood that the thermostat's mounted on and then another block of Kingspan on the top there, keeping the heat in there. 